Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of The Death of Art. We are on the Lower East Side of Manhattan and we walked by this gallery and I looked through the window and was surprised by what I saw. Not that I'm expecting anything really good, but we're going to assess a phenomena which is sweeping the nation. This is Deb Lee. We are going to go in there and take a look. Let's have fun. I really have to say, um, there are a few times when I'm speechless, but I'm now speechless. Um, I'm not too sure what's going on here. There's a lot of pictures of the president. Um, I don't know why one would paint basically a political campaign and call it art. And I'm mystified. Somebody was really uninspired and didn't know what art they wanted to do. So they just turned on their TV and they saw these images and they decided to paint them. This piece actually struck me the moment I looked at it through the window. This immediately said what it is. I, this is a California style house and it's on fire. California has been burning with wildfires for the last decade or so. This actually is a very political statement as is all the other ones. Uh, but this is sort of outside of contemporary politics in that, well, this is just something that's happening outside of the personalities. Basically, when Elon Musk goes to space, his rocket is going to miss fire, miss Mars, and end up there. You see, that's why the death of art is so important to your life, because we tell you what's going to happen next. The president and the vice president in masks with an American flag over it. That's so problematic right there, okay? That is connecting the uh, the idea of masking your face with this COVID phenomena and the American flag. Let's move on. Here we have our vice president with this beautiful American flag draped behind her. But here we have our president with these strange, obscured, sort of like flags that have been through a tornado. Now what is up with that? This is in a way meaningful because here you have the president, this doddering old, guy um, with his back turned to Pete Buttigieg and his husband. And this is actually a complete social commentary. Now, if this was actually outside of all these other American flags and Fauci and all this other political activism stuff, this would actually stand on its own. But I'm seeing it in a row of other things, which, you know, makes me question, you know, why are we, why are we seeing this in the context of, of something else? All art in a gallery is context. You can't get away from it. This is not a group show. This is a single person's show. Everything was planned, everything was thought out. So this alone is actually, you know, it says a statement and it's actually socially a good statement. Um, but in the context of the other things that I'm seeing, it actually supports an agenda, which I find problematic. That was a blast. I have never seen such naked propaganda in my life and some art gallery calling it art. But anyway, you're gonna see a lot more of this in the future. Have a good night. Please like, please subscribe, and please ring the bell.